What's up everybody, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and your eyes are not deceiving you, I'm playing the real Etho, Etho's Lab on YouTube, the 1.3 million subscriber Minecraft YouTuber. So, uh, he mentioned in one of his Minecraft Let's Plays a while back that Scrolls is actually a game he plays on the side of making videos of, like, Minecraft and Terraria and stuff like that. He actually, uh started playing scrolls and he likes it a lot he has yet to make any scrolls videos but i hope that will change in the future because i think that would really help the player base of scrolls having a very influential uh gaming community member like etho uh play scrolls would definitely help the community of scrolls grow so i messaged etho and i asked him to play a match and he was kind enough to uh, challenge me so here we are I am playing my standard mono decay deck and I believe he is just playing uh, a standard mono growth deck um, I actually played two matches with him so the match after this is a bit more interesting I go for some really OP deck and he's playing go draw so it makes for a fun match but uh yeah etho I was uh, very excited when I found out he played. Um, he, I believe, he is the third Minecracker to uh, play uh, Scrolls. Well, maybe not in that order. Might be third, but there's three of them. Um, Doc M seventy seven. He uh, he actually played like last summer. Um, he uploaded a few videos on Scrolls, but then for some reason he just stopped playing and uploading. Um, believe it or not, he was the one, I probably said this in a video before, but he was the one who, um, introduced me to Scrolls. I, I didn't know what it was, I saw a video of it, and, um, from his channel, and it intrigued me, and I said, this is Mojang, and it's probably a good game, and Minecraft, uh, favorite game at the time, and now it's, like, very close between Minecraft and Scrolls, and then I picked it up. So, and now, Vex, um does uh scrolls videos he does the trials he plays a bit and that's awesome and etho plays so i didn't know etho played for a while so like he actually has to play a lot he has over 600 matches under his belt he's quite good actually and i hope he uh makes videos of it because i think people would enjoy them and i think it would help the game and I think he plays like very frequently, so I hope he does. Yeah, if I sound different in this video, um, it's actually because I have a new mic. Actually, I actually have a new everything. Uh, this is I everything came to my house. I have everything set up. I'm using a new computer, and yeah, I'm using a new keyboard, mouse, mouse pad computer monitor the whole thing um here i'll just go ahead and tell you like the stuff so i got the i got the acer predator g3 ag3 605 ur20 um i'm just reading off the side of the system right now it's, it's a uh, pre-built tower uh windows 8 intel core i7 processor 4770 uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660 1.5 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes DDR3 memory, 3 terabyte hard drive, uh, and that's what it says on the side of the thing. Yeah, 24 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. So I got this nice machine for a sale price of only 1,200 bucks. So that was a nice deal. Um, the massive uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, I, th I think are really going to help me as I continue to play games while I record them because uh, video editing software and recorders, I've heard, do take up the most memory and also you need a nice uh, hard drive for that because you're going to be wanting to save a lot of those video files. So, and I have this nice Corsair mechanical gaming keyboard. A Cooler Master um, gaming mouse, 
the absolutely gigantic X Track Pads Ripper XXL mouse pad. It covers like almost the whole desk. Um, I'm using uh, Corsair headphones. I'm not sure at all. I may or not have everything in the description. I think I'm gonna do a setup video in the future where I'm just gonna. It's not. It's not much of a setup, but it's just like dual monitors and like my my little uh, desk area. But I definitely do like it. So I think I'll do that, and yeah, I got a new Asus monitor, and my second monitor is very nice, but it's kind of old, so it doesn't have like the fastest like refresh rate and stuff. All right, so enough about that. So um, if the video looks different at all, this is uh, being made on my new computer, so whole different, um, whole different video editing software and recording software and everything and mic and all that stuff so yeah hopefully this works out for the best so in the game that you guys are watching uh, model growth has it tough against decay there's no no other way to put it you can't really you can't even quake your way back because then all the harvesters and like husks spawn and then rod eaters get buffed so right now decay kind of demolishes growth unless growth gets that perfect starting hand and like perfect early game because then nothing beats a growth start that has like that goes like brave 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 uh brother the wolf so um yeah so uh my friend agi 33 um alex he's been on this channel before he actually spotted we both knew etho played scrolls from like looking him up on scrolls guide and stuff and hearing him say that in his let's play but uh alex actually spotted him in trading one room of scrolls so i just messaged him and he was very kind and we played a f uh, two matches i'm sure um being the number one ranked player did not uh made him think that maybe uh, it would be fun to play me so, yeah, so like I said, uh, after this match, there's going to be a second match we're going to play. And you can see he's very friendly. We had this nice conversation. He's easy to talk to. He's not he's not one of those YouTubers that doesn't really, uh, like, communicate with his subscribers. So this is just really cool for me because he is and was my favorite uh youtuber he um i remember when i started watching him he had like it was like a, a year or two ago he had like 200k subs and i loved his like etho plays minecraft let's play world um and i always watch that and then i watch him as mind crack stuff and now he has gotten even larger today because of like his fancy redstone, redstone contraptions, and yeah, I understand you don't really know what I'm saying if you uh, don't play Minecraft and you're just watching this for the scrolls. But I definitely hope that uh, Etho makes some micro uh, scrolls videos because I think just I think this game needs more publicity. I think it is a very good game, and if more people uh, knew of it then more people would play it um and mojang has actually tried to get more people to play it themselves as of late um the they they have given all the uh, scrolls accounts right now a free scrolls key that you can give to a friend to give them a free copy of scrolls which I think is awesome because that's just more players that are playing their game and people that just didn't want to buy it now have a chance to try it out and then maybe they can recommend it to their friends and stuff so as I, I've seen the uh, amount of players online has grown over the past few days still not that high but it has grown because um, I assume that's because 
a lot of new players are out there that just got their free keys from their friends. So me and my friends got like six, uh, six of our friends or like four of our friends to try it out, and so far they are loving it. One of them is even a Hearthstone player, and he does enjoy both games so far. Yeah, so this game is just about over. There's nothing Etho can really do to come back. I think Etho were just have just been talking about like uh balance issues and like harvester and how like what that what factions beat what factions. Yes, he does he does have a, a good knowledge of the game. He has he's played uh lots of matches. He's not like um like although Vex has the videos, Vex has like yet to play any multiplayer really, and he just uses like some like old energy deck. Etho knows the game, and he's been playing I think for a while. And I hope that uh, Doc Resume is playing. I'm not sure why he stopped. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of the Mind Crack YouTubers. Even though I'm the currently the number one ranked player in Scrolls, it just may not be my favorite game. Minecraft has a special place in my heart. So speaking of that ranking, uh, I'm actually on Scrolls Guide. It actually says I think I think it says I'm second as of me recording this video on Monday, the twenty third of December. But I am in first. It says I'm in second because if you didn't know, every single Sunday, regardless of how much you play, uh, Mojang set in some rating decay, so you will lose like one to one and a half percent of your uh, rating every Sunday. So, and the you see the rating of the people on Scrolls Guide when they log in and join a general lobby. So I have logged in and lost the rating decay. And PQ and a lot of other people like Chamion and stuff, his rating is like off on Scrolls, Scrolls Guide because when you don't join a general lobby by logging in, then Scrolls Guide has no way of telling what your real rating is. So if you want to get the actual ranking, you have to log into Scrolls and look at it from there. But when as, as soon as they join a general lobby, then we'll pick it up. So hopefully, I think Mojang should uh, put the actual ratings of the top 100 players in the uh, in that on that screen where it shows the top 100 players. I think that'd be cool. So now I have that Necrogeddon in my hand. I can win very very soon that loyal darkling I could be able to win next turn as long as Etho doesn't put a bunch of creatures there I don't think that I'm able to like talk and type and play at the same time like this I'm, this is a post commentary if you haven't noticed there's no game audio I'm sorry about that uh, when I was uh, recording this nah, I, I just went I started playing Etho and I wanted to record it because um, I wanted to upload it and stuff, and I was talking to uh, Alex in a Skype call. I don't think you need to hear our conversation. So, that's why there's no audio. So, it's not like future videos are going to be like this. Future videos are going to, like, come much more frequently, hopefully. I know I say that a lot. Whenever I, like, make a video, I'm like, yep, I'm going to start uploading, like, almost daily now. And then I just upload, like, a week later. Like, yep, I'm still going to do that. But... My two weeks of vacation for uh, winter break just started, so maybe I can make a bunch of videos right now. That would be fun. Not sure why I languided him. I mean, I'm gonna kill him this turn. But whatever. Um, what was I going to say? Uh oh. So yesterday. Sunday, uh, the twenty second, was the scroll scrolls all star ESL energy tournament. 
that um, if you didn't know the ESL tournaments uh, they're they have been doing one for every faction where you enter and you have to play a certain faction and you battle out to see who's like the best order or energy growth player all that stuff and um, surprisingly <laughs> I managed to come in second of that uh, I lost to Blinky in the finals, the best of five finals, um, and so congrats to him. He is in my guild, the Badger Guild, so I'm not I'm not too mad about that. That a Badger Guild player won. Um, yeah, if you, the screen just cut out because this is me in the second match. He actually uh, um asked to ask me to play the second one so that was pretty cool I think he wanted to try out this his go draw against against me and you'll see how it works out it's quite a fun match it, it's kinda weird because both of our decks are pretty late game so we're like both trying to like just like build up our resources but yeah so let me tell you a little bit about the deck I'm using right now in the video um it is the deck was actually uh, made by Blinky. You can check out his channel. Uh, he's, I think, he's the most popular scrolls YouTuber that like consistent. That's like very big in the community. I, like, I'm not talking about like Vex or anybody. Like, I know Vex is much larger in a ch as a channel. But Blinky came with this deck. It's a growth decay deck that centers around. Uh, getting down harvesters and then clearing the other person's board and basically destroying everything with like quakes, frost scales, return to natures, and iron biles and then having your harvesters go and attack and then you can put down your like rat kings and necrogeddon so it's very deadly uh, it basically is a sure win versus any any deck that's not decay because the problem with Decay is that Decay sometimes benefits from having its creatures die, like Harvesters, Rot Eaters, Witch Doctors spawn the husks. So Decay gives it a hard time, but it can still win. But if you're playing Growth, uh, Order, or anything like that, then you can pretty much demolish them just by like keep sacrificing resources. And then once he like builds his board, like just do like Iron Bile, Double Frost Scale. Iron Bile is like one of those cards that nobody really knows how good it is. It's actually really good. If you don't know what it does, it gives every it gives every unit on the field curse one and plus one attack until the end of turn. The more important of that is the curse one. So basically, that makes for all your frost scales will do plus one damage, your quakes will do plus one damage, all that until the end of turn. And then it's very versatile. So like after you Necrogeddon. You can use Iron Bile so you can take down a 10 health idol. So, because they all got plus one attack. It's like a pseudo Crimson Bowl. Because it also gives the curse one, so you could use it like that. So, it's a very versatile scroll. And I think a lot of people don't know its actual power. So, as you can see, Ethos playing, I think, the standard Go Draw. Putting down his memorials, ramping up. And he has no idea what I have up my sleeve. Playing no IDs, getting his resources. Oh yeah, also a big part of this deck I'm playing is Eclipse. It has, uh, what it does is it converts all your current resources to decay. So that makes for surprise Necrogenons and stuff. Eclipse was one of the new cards that came out like uh, about a few weeks ago. One of the like fan-made cards contest. So... I am able to, uh, so then he's just doing the standard stuff, memorials, fertile soils, and then he's going to be able to, I'm sure he has a plethora of quakes and frost scales and all that stuff. Go draw's main premise is just hold you off until uh, uh, you become so behind in cards and resources that then they could just like overwhelm you with like kinfolk vets and like stuff like that. But my deck is very, um, very strong, like, in the late game also. And I'm ramping up with my Return to Natures, and I am just keep, like, sacking. So I'm able to keep up with him, even though he has four scrolls. I do have the Double Harvesters out. 
And what I think he's trying to do is just get my harvesters down to two health, so he's gonna be able to quick them away. I believe that is what he's trying to do, and he's doing a good job protecting his idols with the memorials. Because I'd much rather just hit an idol because I know he's gonna end up killing his own memorials. Because that's what go draw players always do. Uh, how far is this into the video? Twenty of the thirty minutes. It's actually, I never, I've never done a post commentary this long. Almost running out of things to say. Um. So I don't know when this video is going up, but this Sunday, as of when I'm recording this video, this coming Sunday is the Decay All Stars tournament. I'll be entering that most likely. Hopefully, I can uh, even win that because I think Decay is the thing I have played the most of recently. So that is pretty awesome, and I should be able to go deep into that tournament if all goes well. I probably have the least experience playing energy, so I was very su uh, surprised I was able to get to the finals. But I think these like single faction deck um, tournaments are very luck based because like you ha a lot of you have the same scrolls, so it's just like whoever draws the bright ones first. Like for in the energy one, it was like all about like if you had the bombards at the right time, like um, the. Uh, the order one was like if you got your like wings captain early and like your like blessing of haste and all that stuff but it's fun nonetheless and then after these um single faction tournaments it, there's going to be a highlander tournament that means that your deck can only consist of uh single scrolls like you can't have like three of a scroll like most decks that you play they'll have like um uh like I have like three harvesters in this deck like you I would only be allowed to have one in that deck so that makes for an interesting match and a lot of scrolls that wouldn't normally get played and very it's very gimmicky games so that will be a lot of fun and yeah he's trying to get now both harvesters are down to two health so then I suspect he's going to quake yeah so now I'm just looking at my hand I have sis sister of the owl so that means I can look toward like getting spamming creatures in the necrogen ending soon but I don't know if that's the best option I think I should probably just right now I'm just looking at my board and I know those two harvesters are dead there's no way uh, one of those eight scrolls is not um, it's not a quake so I'm basically saying alright those guys are going to die so I'm not, I don't think I'm going to play much this turn. Well, I just played that. I guess I contradict myself. But now, so sad I did not have enough resources to play that Fertile Soil, which I would have played on one of my guys. Because I'm not sure if uh, you've been reading our chat. I actually can't see our chat right now. Because this postcom, I'm, it's this, the screen that, um, I see he's actually very small, so I can't read um, the uh, our chat that we're having. But I think it's just about like the game development and just general stuff. Nothing too special. Huh? I don't know what to talk about. Um, well, I guess now the board's clear. All right, look at the board now. We both have basically all the idols are full. Um, you both have like like the same amount of a lot of scrolls and then I have yeah about the same amount of resources as him also so now let's see which deck is going to blow things up faster I'll give you a hint it's going to be mine <laughs> it's because this deck is basically like unbeatable like versus a uh, faction that's like not decay you could still beat decay because even if like there's a 10, I haven't destroyed any items yet, but I'm gonna do that very fast. Like his uh, like it with the iron bile, it allows for like destroying 10 health idols with necrogetins. So if you really, when you're facing this deck, you really don't know how to like counter it because if you play things, they're just gonna be killed like whenever the guy wants to kill them, and if you don't play things, you're just gonna be killed regardless. 
like all the things, all the removal from decay, like damning curse, and like the iron bow to help the curse, like really, really uh, helps out like the normal growth deck. So now I suspect I'll play a harvester and a no ID. No IDs are in the deck because um, right now the med game is highly uh, littered with decay players, including myself. So this deck doesn't really have a hard time beating any faction besides decay. So getting when you're facing decay player, at least when you're playing the no ID, you're getting decay from him. So at least you uh, are able to ramp a little faster. And also, when you're not facing a decay player, when you're facing like um, order or energy, you're still getting that order or energy, which is used uh, when you use eclipse because that converts all your resources to um, converts all your resources uh, to decay. So you're actually using that like order or energy you got into your like compiled and uh, compiled resources and. Also, you should look out for like the God Hand I have and stuff like that. That can be really strong with harvesters that can give it like a 10 attack harvester if they have two or less countdown. So at this point in the game, I'm like thinking about like sacking the removal out of two iron biles, two frost scales. I'm feeling that it's time to start like winning the game. He has nothing on the board and he's just trying to ramp up even further and I don't think he's gonna kill like all my stuff this turn so now I'm just going to try to snipe those idols because I've got hands rat kings and necker get in I'm waiting on an eclipse so I can use that to play a necker get in and stuff and double heritage and for soil see look at that that just got like seven or so cards Go draw, you just shouldn't worry about them like ramping up and just focus on hitting those idols. But then my deck was kinda like uh like same premise, <laughs> like don't worry about it because you just need to blow their creatures up later. So it made for a fun match. And I believe that was his turn, and this turn I was able to have a little bit of fun. Yeah. So I got the eclipse I wanted. So, sack the frost scale. I don't think I'll be needing uh, the board clear anymore. Get a little bit lag, but I'm trying to play that god hand. And look at that harvester. Ten attacks. So I'll be able to snipe two idols this turn. Etho is in awe. <laughs> so, that was awesome. Maybe I should have played an iron and bile so I can uh, snipe a different idol. But it's all right. And looking at my hand, I do have a Necrian and an Eclipse, so I should be able to win very soon. And it looks like he's going to board clear me this turn with like a Quake and like something. So, oh well. Will I be able to win next turn? Um, actually, from looking at my cards, I think I, I, th I may have been able to win next turn. Yeah, I think I may have been able to win next turn, but I didn't. I think I take this next turn to hit an idol with a kinfolk veteran, because I thought that I needed to get an idol lower than 10 health to destroy it uh, with a necrogen of three creatures. But I forgot I had those iron bottles, so I could just. I think I could win next turn by going Rat King, Eclipse, Nick, or get an iron bile if I have enough resources for that. Yeah, I think I could win this turn. But I end up just playing that. This deck is actually almost even more lethal in the new quick matches, the testing grounds that only have 8 health idols. Because that means harvesters snipe them, and then I don't even need iron biles to take out those um, those idols with three. Or you could use an iron bile, and then you only need two guys of four attack the husks. 
see what I do it. Yeah, so I could have won. This is a hard deck to play because you really have to count your resources and know what's going on. And lucky for me, Go Draw was not a very aggressive faction, so I didn't have to didn't have to worry about him destroying my idols before I can like get ready for my like onslaughts and like board clears and stuff. So that was all good. And I do think I win next turn. I think he kills that guy with some sort of like a clock. Okay. And probably going to protect that top idol. But I'll be able to win anyways because I have an Iron Bile. Necrogeddon, Sister of the Owl, and Eclipse. So I can go ahead and play the sister of the owl that takes six resources and then I have six I have nine resources left over added up so now if I eclipse I'll have nine decay resources or actually eight because yeah eight because one it's one resource to play eclipse so now I have eight uh, decay uh, resources yep and then I just go necro and Bio. and GG well played Etho's lab so that was awesome it was very humbling to talk to Etho favorite YouTuber I don't think a lot of people have that experience of talking to the favorite YouTuber so I'm grateful and see you all next time thanks for watching bye